All right, thanks again for joining me here on 3-Minute Knives, where we go over the ins and outs of a particular knife in three minutes or less. Once again, usually this one is um, kind of special, and I know I'm going to go over my uh, my normal three-minute time because I want to say a little bit more about it. This is the Navajas, the Navajas Barbudo Balmas, Navajas Barbudo Balmas, Natural Macarta M390, Titanium, Bearings, get a basic pouch with it get out of the way and let's go over some specs and then we'll talk about this overall length is 8.268 inches three point eight inch cutting edge it's one inch wide right up here that's sharp I don't even want to touch that it's so sharp four point six five inch handle 0.9 inches wide, 0.6 inches thick. This is manufactured by Reate. Reate knives, Reate, however you say that. They do amazing work. And I got to tell you, when I first opened this up and, and handled it, it kind of reminded me of a Chavez. You know, their Redencion Liberation. Just not the overall look, just the feel of it, the construction. And they are both the, designed by Re8. So, um, a little bit about this guy, uh, Barbudo. Navajas is the style of knife. Barbudo is the maker. Come on, focus up, focus up. There we go. Barbudo is the maker, and Balmus is the name of the knife. And I'll tell you why it's got the name Balmus. Balmus is the name of a Spanish physician. And it was Francesco, or Francisco Javier de Balmas. He was a Spanish phys physician best known for leading an 1803 expedition to Spanish America and the Philippines to vaccinate populations against smallpox. It was the first international vaccination campaign in the history of medicine. So that's pretty cool. So Miguel Barbudo wanted to honor Francisco Javier de Balmas and gave this knife his name. Now Miguel has been knife making, working with knives and steels since he was a kid. He learned forging from his father. Um, after he grew up, he entered the school of traditional forging and restoration of the San Lorenzo de El Escorial Monastery, where he learned from some of the best professionals who work with original pieces from the 17th century. Since 2015, he is a full-time knife maker. And he's made some good stuff. I, I could not find a lot about this particular knife. There's only a few websites that uh, I was able to find it on. And there's not uh, many reviews about it either. And the reviews I did find were all in another language, so they didn't really help me out a lot. Um, now, Barbudo, his craft mixes the passion for the rich Spanish knife tradition with new modern materials. Hence the Navaja, Navaja design. And he sees himself as an old school maker, so he offers lifetime warranty on all his products. That's pretty awesome, a lifetime warranty. So, like I said, it's, it's tough to, to find this guy online. I got this on loan from a good friend of mine, Bear Bishop. And you can buy these from him. You can check out his Facebook group, Bear Nose Knives. And I'll put a link. I don't even know if I can put a link, but I'll put uh, some info in the uh, description on how to get a, in touch with either myself or him. This is just an amazing knife. That says Barbudo. That's Miguel Barbudo's signature right there. Lock bar is so nice, nice and smooth, pushes over easy. It does not guillotine shut, but it just glides shut like it's on, like it's, uh, you know, a hydraulic press. It's, it's so nice. Ah, so nice. You can finger flick it. You can thumb flick it. You can, oh, come on. You can flip flip it. The, Mar Mar the Micarta is beautiful. 
Yeah, I love it. Recessed screws. Nice lanyard hole that goes all the way through. Flush backspacer. Same way uh, Chavez does it. And just a beautiful knife. Yeah. It is, it's really, really nice. I love it. Uh, my only complaint about it is, as you've probably already noticed, boom, the proprietary pivot. I don't understand that. I don't like it. I'm sure you could get some type of spanner bit. Maybe Miguel Barbudo sells something, but that's, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. But the quality of this knife is there. It's as good as any of the others in this price range. It's in the same price range as Chavez knives, um, maybe even a little bit less. And it's as good. The quality is there. The design is there. The craftsmanship, it's all there. It's beautiful. So the Navaja, where did that? Navaja Barbudo Balmas. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Please like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Sorry this went a little bit longer, but um, this is an awesome knife. It's beautiful and functional. Thick, stylish, classy, all at the same time. The Balmas. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.